Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a review video. I have been waiting to do this. I'm so bad because I test palettes for weeks before I make review videos, just because that's how long it takes me to wear all the shades on my eyeballs and I only wear makeup like once a day, guys. It's in the morning when I'm getting ready for work and I don't really like come home at night and practice eye looks. Maybe if I did this full time, I could wear multiple different makeup looks during the day, but I honestly feel like I would be so stressed if I was trying to put makeup on every night as well. Um, so yeah, it takes me a little while to film these review videos, but usually as soon as I get a palette, I will throw up a swatch video and that gives me the chance to give you guys some of my initial thoughts. So. That's kind of how things work around here. If you are new to my channel, hello, my name is Karen Harris. I usually upload every other day, so you do get quite a bit of content from me. I do hope you will consider subscribing to my channel. My goal, my lofty goal, is to make it to a thousand subscribers this year. So if you could help me out and subscribe, I would really appreciate it, but no pressure at all. Just enjoy the video and thanks for stopping by. Okay guys, let's get into it. Who's excited? I love Juvia's Place. And I'm not just saying that. I love Juvia's Place. This is my Juvia's Place stash. As you can see, I have the Masquerade, the Magic, the Nubian 2. This is the Zulu. This is the two blush palettes and then the Saharan palette. And I also have the Nubian 1 palette. You guys didn't think I forgot. It was just hiding under this huge pile. So I keep telling you guys someday I will film a review video with some of the older palettes because I've definitely had those for a while. But today is all about the Saharan 2. Now I heard about Juvia's Place back in the day when Coffee Break with Danny talked about the Nubian 2 palette. This is what that one looks like. And since the day I bought this palette, it has been love at first sight with every single one of these Juvia's Place palette so I continue to purchase from them some people have had bad experiences with them in the past but I personally never had a problem so I can't really complain about it I'm just sharing with you guys my experiences and I, I do feel really bad for people that have bad experiences with brands but I have my own experiences that I've had with brands where some people have not had those bad experiences so just keep that in mind guys everyone's just sharing their opinion and at the end of the day, it's just makeup, so don't get bent out of shape about it. Personally, love Juvia's Place, can't help myself. Now, I would definitely categorize them as like mid-range. It's kind of strange because I was doing research for this video and like I was looking at the price I paid for the palette and now if you go on the website, it's a completely different price. So I don't know if they like adjust the price depending on demand or if I just got it on sale because it was during the pre-launch, but Somebody, somebody let me know because I have no idea. I just want to let you guys know, Juvia's Place is one of those brands you don't need to pay full price, just wait for a sale, okay? That's my opinion on it. Now a little bit about the brand, I did do some research so I'm going to read this to you guys. Juvia's is a cosmetics brand providing you with the most rich, vibrant, and highly pigmented essential colors of life that takes you from the office to the Caribbean islands and everywhere in between. We created Juvia's as a way to provide beauty enthusiasts an affordable collection of colorful eyeshadows, makeup tools, and beauty essentials. We start to provide you with the most perfectly balanced, rich, and luscious colors with incredible wearability power every beauty enthusiast can afford. And I definitely think they achieve all of those things. Some of their palettes can be pretty random, but for the price, honestly, I think at least you can create one solid look. If you can't think of anything else, you'll be able to create one solid look from them. There is a new palette that they're coming out with. I'll pop a picture up in the screen here. Really strange, like really, really strange, but I'm still gonna get it, you best believe, because I'm sure once I have it in my hands, it'll make sense to me. And it kind of reminds me of the Too Faced White Chocolate Chip Palette or whatever they're coming out with. So. I'll be interested to see what that ends up looking like because I see some of the similarities, but you guys let me know what you think. 
Now, I will link this eyeshadow palette in the description box if you guys are interested in shopping, just making it a little bit easier for you guys. This product did launch on September 19th, and it is November 12th when I'm filming this. Like, how does this happen? How does so much time go by? It's crazy. I'm not sure if it's limited edition. I don't think it is. None of the Juvia's Place palettes have ever been discontinued from what I can tell. I mean, you can still buy like the Nubian palette and stuff on there. So if you guys know if it's limited edition, let me know. I could not find the information to save my life. For so, product costs, I went back and looked at my email. So originally the palette when I bought it was $17.50. I used the code TREADMOOD and got $1.75 off. Shipping is $4.16, so I paid a total of $19.91 for this palette. Now, when I checked today, the palette is retailing for $21.50, so it don't make no sense to me, man. And if you guys know, just explain to me why it's a different price today. Um, shipping cost was $4.16 which is kind of an oddball amount. So I don't know if it depends on where you live. Maybe it'll be cheaper if you live somewhere else. I do believe these ship out of New Jersey. Yep, distributed from Juvia's Place in New Jersey. So maybe since North Dakota is kind of close to New York, it's a little bit cheaper. If you guys are from a different state, let us know how much you pay for Juvia's Place shipping. I'd be really curious to hear about that. Now, Packaging I think is super cute. I mean you guys these people are like the most creative Packaging folks I think I mean it's just different and that's always fun for me It's like art and the colors they really stand out in my collection because some of my palettes are pretty boring looking Look at this like detail right here. Like that's just fun. You know, it's like why not go crazy do you boo? But this is what the inside of the palette looks like you get huge pans These two rows are shimmery and this is a all matte row now, I did see that this palette is made in the People's Republic of China. So are all their other palettes. I mean, it's an indie brand. So I'm not saying all indie brands are made in China, but I'm not surprised because that's where all of these palettes are made. So I personally never had a problem with like irritation or the palettes being damaged or anything like that. These are just my opinions. Just want to tell you, palette is made in China products and the shade selection on the website it says introducing the highly pigmented hot and spicy vibe the saharan 2 eyeshadow palette consists of nine highly pigmented metallic shades dual chromes and matte shades that will transform you into a regal goddess inspired by the rich colors in moroccan spices herbs and cities and rich patterns a one-of-a-kind journey through in the beauty realm how to use. To achieve maximum pigmentation, metallic shades can be used wet or dry, sim or simply use your fingertip to place product on lids. Personally, I do use these with a brush. I don't even feel like you really need to wet your brush with these because they are so, so pigmented. But if you want that extra, you know, little oomph, you know, feel free. Look at these two shades. I just swatched those. They're so beautiful. Now, as far as product, you do get 1.14 ounces. That is the net weight in here. And these pans are huge. You're never going to run out of them. Another cool thing Juvia's Place did do is they created some mini palettes with some of their bigger shadow palettes, which I wish like I had bought the mini of the Masquerade because the Masquerade palette is huge and I'm never going to get through it. So that's something to keep in mind too if you don't want to run out and get these. Maybe wait to see if they'll create like a miniature size. As far as the suitability and workability of this with different skin tones, I honestly feel like, if anything, you're just going to be freaked out that these are too pigmented. So if you're lighter in skin tone, I would just make sure you're going in with a light hand because these colors are definitely very, very pigmented. So if you're a light skin person, I would really go in with a light hand because if you're not good at blending, you're going to have like, a lot of product on your lid so just tap in once tap the brush off and then lightly blend into your crease and then just kind of go from there feel it out and see what you think otherwise if you're darker skin I think it's nice that they pack on extra pigment in here palettes from companies like Tarte and Too Faced even on me sometimes I have such a hard time because those colors like muddy on my skin tone I feel like there is a difference when a company caters to 
people of color. There just is. And I know some brands are trying a little bit harder to you know, work for multiple different skin tones, but I definitely see a difference when I'm working with a brand that caters to people of color, like for example, Color Rain, Juvia's Place, those are the two that come into mind right away. Just extra pigment, and I think they do a fabulous job at that. So if you are a person of color and you have a hard time with shades from Tarte and Too Faced, um, I would I would definitely check out one of these palettes because it's unreal. Like the pigmentation is so good. The colors stay true to their shades. Like it doesn't turn into something else, which I think needs to be mentioned about all the Juvia's Place palettes. Now shelf life is 12 months. I did order this on 1007, which was the pre-order and the arrival date was 1016. So there was a little bit of time, but I was glad I was able to pre-order it, so I knew I was definitely going to get it. These don't typically sell out right away, but they do sell out, but they are really good at restocking too, so keep all of that in mind. I couldn't find any information on whether Juvia's Place was vegan or cruelty-free. If you guys know, let us know in the comments. I just check on Logical Harmony. I didn't see them on her list, so I'm going to assume since they are made in China, they're probably not cruelty-free. Not 100% sure though, so don't come for me in the comments. As far as application goes, I have no problem with this. The only thing I would say is maybe a con is they can be too pigmented. So like I mentioned previously, be careful going with the light hand. Start blending a little bit and then you can always add on, but it's buttery smooth and very, very fun to play with. I can even just do a look with these three eyeshadows, honestly. Wear time is great. I can definitely get through a whole work day with these. No problem at all. I would 100% recommend these palettes to you guys. Swatch video I already did, so I will link it up in the cards for you guys to check out if you are curious to see how all these shades swatched for me. And yeah, I would honestly just recommend this palette to you guys. It's a great palette. It's under 25 bucks, and you'll probably be able to get it on sale soon. The other thing I do want to show you is this is the Juvia's Place Saharan One palette, and I believe this came out at the beginning of the year. I actually really love this palette. I know it doesn't get enough attention from me, but this shade, oh my gosh. And this one reminds me so much of the red shades in the 3502 palette. And then this green just, I mean, it's like slays my existence. I love a good chartreuse shade. So super happy that they came out with a part two. I'm not really sure why it contains more shades, etc. A lot of people don't really like this palette because they're really confused by it. But personally, I just think it's a fun palette. I mean, this is probably my favorite Juvia's Place palette. I do really like the Magic palette, but I don't hear a lot of people talk about the Saharan, and I think it's a really sad because I think it's a really fun palette. The other thing I do want to mention as well is if you wanted to try the Natasha Denona Aries palette, I will pop a picture up somewhere here. I'm telling you, the Juvia's palette looks, I mean, I feel like the colors are so, so similar, and this one is half the price of the Natasha Denona palette and I can guarantee you the quality in this is going to be better if not at least the same as Natasha Denona for half the price. I've tried quite a few of Natasha Denona's palettes. I swear I was talking about the Lila palette earlier in a different video that I was filming and I was like somebody needs to check me every time I say I'm going to buy a Natasha Denona palette because I buy them and then I hate them and then I give them a bad review and I'm like why the fuck did I just spend $125, $29 on this palette. Like Next time you guys see me talking about maybe getting a Natasha Denona palette, just put in the comments, Karen, you said you were never gonna buy Natasha Denona eyeshadow palettes. Stop buying Natasha Denona eyeshadow palettes. Really, it's getting old, <laughs> honestly. So yeah, I think this is a really great dupe for the Aries palette if you guys have been wanting that. I swear I see so many similarities in the shade. So I'm going to put some pictures up so you guys can do your own little comparison. Obviously, I'm not going to buy the Aries palette, so I can't show them to you side by side, but just looking at it, just eyeballing it, I feel like they're similar. Okay guys, that is everything I wanted to cover in this video. I hope you found it useful and entertaining. Thank you so much for sticking with me. I do have a giveaway going on right now on my channel. It is for the ColourPop X My Little Pony palette. So if you guys want to go ahead and enter to win that, 
All the information is down in the description box below. I hope you guys have an awesome week and thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.